beautiful Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for the end of June right through to the end of July 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to attain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, this is your Twin Flame reading. For those of you who are not looking for a love reading, I will be doing a career reading for your sign in the next couple of days. Also, there are two readings already up for your sign. Uh, one is, what do your guides want you to know? And the second one is the general monthly for June, okay? So let us get straight to your reading. I'm going to uh, get all of your cards first. The first card, uh, sorry, the first pile is your pile. Second pile is your person's pile. And the third pile is the unified energy, okay? Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know regarding their twin flame connection? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Can you please guide them? What are they meant to be aware of? Oh, they want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Okay. So, um, now, for those of you who do not know what a twin flame connection is, please look it up online. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to go into a lot of detail in this reading because it tends to be quite detailed in itself. But at grassroots, it tends to be a runner, a chaser, and a separation period, okay? Two people, they meet each other in similar energy. They are identical in their energy. Uh, you're part of the same energy uh, force as you were born, of course. And... Um, So I'm just getting uh, your cards before I move forward. Also, um, it's like when you meet each other, you just know. And it's like a magnet, okay? You attract each other, but also you repel each other. Um, it's like mirrored energy. Uh, being with this person, you know that you've met someone um, who is your counterpart. You know that uh, the feelings are deeper than usual, but also it throws up and amplifies a lot of our fears our insecurities. So that's what a twin flame connection does. It holds a mirror up to the other twin to see the things within themselves that need healing. So when you met your twin first, you may have felt um, anxious. Well, first of all, you feel love, intensity, magnetism, passion, all of those things. Uh, but then as you start to deepen the connection with your person, you start to feel fear, you start to feel anxiety. Uh, you start to feel, you know, things that are within you that have not quite been healed yet. So one counterpart, the chaser, tends to be willing to open up their, their heart and take the journey, the twin flame journey. They do not avoid their feelings and they open themselves up to that level of vulnerability that love offers. Uh, the twin, however, who is the runner, tends to avoid their feelings because the fears are amplified so intensely that they can, they, it's almost like they avoid the things within themselves that need healing, so they take a step back. So um, it is a very painful and sometimes confusing journey, but it's also a very rewarding one when it comes to you tuning into who you are um, and being your wonderful authentic self, overcoming obstacles and fears in order to come together, okay? Um, and be in union. Now, uh, also, I want you to be aware of what a false flame is because uh, it can be similar, only a false flame, um, both parties do not sort of ascend in divine timing. One ascends and the other one does not at all. They just don't learn or do the work. Also, um, if anyone is emotionally, physically, mentally abusive or manipulative in any shape or form, um, 
that is not twin flame that is false flame okay uh, narcissistic behavior false flame thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful cancerians what do they need to know okay uh well, they want me to go two more interesting oh i see why okay two and two so we have, let's start at the very beginning. Oh yes, like the magnets, okay? Both parties have to remain apart. Spiritually, uh, you know, the energy has to change in each magnet. The frequencies have to change by doing personal growth and then it comes together in divine timing. Not everybody takes the journey of the twin flame connection. Uh, that is your call. If you wish to separate from your person or disconnect, you can cord cut, uh, of course, but there is only one twin flame. So um, let's see how it uh, is happening for you. This reading is good for the next four to five weeks. And we've got the sun card uh, for you to start. So this is about you finding your happiness from within. You are the party that has gone through awakenings. You're the one who has seen the light. You're the one who knows the truth of the situation. You know you've met your twin. You opened yourself up to that level of um, vulnerability and you did not avoid. The sun says you did not avoid your feelings. The sun says you know the truth. You gave energy, you gave love, you gave care, devotion, passion, and trust to this union but it made you disappointed, it let you down. We've got the poverty card right there. So you feel like, uh, it may have even thrown up some insecurities within you where you feel like you lack certain things. That is not the case at all, my beautiful Cancerians. Remember, twin flame energy tends to be projected. So if you feel like you know, you're not enough or any of those things, it is your twin's projection of how they feel about themselves onto you so just be aware of that projected energy uh, but with the sun card i feel like you're trying to find happiness in other areas of your life in most most importantly within uh, you're seeing that happiness comes from within you've waited a lot in this twin flame connection uh, you may have felt like you're on, on hold uh, but you're looking for long-term security and the thing with cancerians a same bit with scorpio energy i'm a scorpio so uh, being a water element i kind of understand when you know you know so it's very very hard to be convinced otherwise even if the person that you're dealing with takes a step back you're like well i know that we're meant to be i know that we're twin flames i know that you love me so why is it so hard for you to get to grips with so you hold on to that person you hold on to that energy going well why can't you see because i can see so i'm similar in that with that you know water elements can be very very flexible but also they're very very deep so when they are hurt, the wounds cut super deep and it is very, very difficult to get over that, okay? So I feel like you're trying to be positive in other areas of your life despite the sadness that is within, okay? It's almost like you may have gone into your shell a bit, but you're trying to put a plaster or a smile over the pain. So I really feel like you're trying your best in the situation that you've got. Uh, it's number 31. So when you reduce it, three plus one is four, the emperor energy, which is all about, uh, you know, career, strategizing. You may have focused on like building your um, empire, as it were, um, trying to focus your attention, your energy elsewhere. Because when you start to think about your twin flame energy with your counterpart, you feel left out in the cold. You fe you're feeling pretty sorry for yourself. Not in a poor me kind of way, but you're trying to understand what just happened. As you can see, this little chimney sweep there, uh, it's like the chimney just blew up in their face, right? So I feel, um, you know, there's even a rat there and a, and a cat. So you may have felt like this person uh, took you for granted or that you were in somehow prey to this person. Um, this person does love you, okay? Um, it may not feel like it at this moment in the separation period, but this person has a psychic bond with you. They actually, I feel like this person wants to mend things i mean you've got two cards here of mending you've got eight of pentacles and you've got the occupation card which sees someone sort of like stitching things together so i do feel like this person is having it like a divine intervention by spirit i do feel like um there's they're having some sort of karma come their way um with the poverty card i feel like something that you thought was secure is like it, the rug got pulled out from underneath your your feet okay that's what i'm getting um i mean they're showing me the cat right now so it's like 
you've got nine lives. It's like you bounce back, but at the same time, you're changed, you're marked. So I feel like you're very guarded ever since. Um, but I really feel like this connection um, left with a lot of confusion and even despair. I even feel like you questioned love. Uh, it's almost like you got burnt by love and you're not sure if you really want to connect to it again anytime soon or it may have made you put your brakes on when it came to love taking yourself out of the dating game completely because of the the emotional hardship that has gone on the difficulty that you've experienced the sorrow in this connection okay um they're just giving me that this person really injured your heart and it's number 37 when you reduce it three plus seven is ten now, 10 is the number of endings bringing new beginnings, but it's also the Wheel of Fortune card. When you feel, you know, disconnected, you may have felt a little bit in limbo, in shock. There is a turning point. All energy breeds a reaction. So, you know, if there is an action, there is a counter reaction. You know, there's lots of um, back and forth energy. So I feel like you were left pretty shocked, pretty shell shocked with this um, connection. And I feel like you may have withdrawn um, you may not have given up completely on this person. You're maybe hoping that this person returns because we have a two of wands energy, which is really like taking stock and sort of like planning for the future, hoping that this person may change, waiting for results. Um, but you're making choices right now. And I feel like these choices are not really based on your twin. I feel like they're based on you and your true happiness because your protagonist energy is like, where is the sun? So some of you may want to like book a vacation, be in the sun, but I feel like this is more about your happiness. Where am I happy? And you're trying to focus your attention and your energy there and take your mind off your twin flame. Uh, although I do feel like the flame still burns brightly for your person. I, I do feel deep down. The Four of Pentacles, you can't quite let go. The Four of Pentacles used to be called the miser of the deck and not because they were like a skin flint or anything like that, but it's more to do with... Um, holding on, holding on tightly, holding on tightly to the pain, the sadness, um, the trust issue that goes with someone stepping back. So um, now I'm not here to blame anyone or take sides or anything like that. I'm here to understand the energy from both parties because humans are very, very complex creatures. You know, sometimes you can want to scream the words, I love you, you fool. Why can't this work? Why can't we make this work? But instead you're like, leave me alone. I can't deal with this right now. So humans are very, very complex. We don't always say what we mean. Sometimes we do, not all the time, okay? So I have to discern the energy that I'm getting here. Four of Pentacles, though, is this person, I feel like you're putting it all into a little compartment to deal with later. You're not fully over it. Let's, let's put it that way, okay? Uh, also, I feel like this person has the key to your heart and you've told this person some secrets or you've told this person a lot about you that you don't actually share with other people. The Four of Pentacles is also a, a card of, um, now don't shoot the messenger when I say this, my beautiful Kent Syrians. I know there's going to be a lot of people that go, Baba, stick it up your you know what. But anyway, I'm, I've got this energy, so I have to give it. And I don't often get it with the, the Four of Pentacles, but they're giving me this energy of possessiveness. Okay. Um, you know, love that is like possessiveness you're mine i'm yours that sort of energy i've got that coming through a little bit so maybe that's how you and this person felt about each other right at the beginning there's like it's not control i feel like it's trying to hold on desperately to the love that is there so that's what I, i'm feeling with that um the security element of it because it's a protective measure you didn't want to lose this person you didn't want this person to step back Okay, I feel like this person may have focused a lot on their work with occupation in the High Priestess. They really ignored their true calling. They really ignored their intuition, uh, which was that they knew that you are Twin Flame. Uh, we got that Two of Wands, so I feel like you are perhaps hoping that this person makes some changes where they want to settle down, be in a more stable, secure relationship. Well, if that is what you've been hoping for, that is what you're getting here, okay? Because this person is grounding their energy. There is stability here. Uh, now your person's energy, we've got the four leaf clover. So they're changing, they're making their own luck, but there is a change here. It's like divine intervention. Fate intervenes to change the circumstances. So I feel like with number two is the high priestess energy and we got number two there. This person is starting to change 
due to their intuition. So I feel like this person's really connecting and they're recognizing to trust the unknown. They're trying to trust their intuition and they're seeing that, uh, you know, not love is not logical. And I feel like this person has approached things and life in general in a very logical way. So, and they're recognizing that love is not. So I feel like they're starting to open their heart, listening to their heart. Um, also the card, uh, the, the high priestess card is the card of having faith. So I feel like this person is starting to trust in the journey and in doing so, they're finding their way back to you. Uh, we got the occupation card, number 34, three plus four is seven, the chariot card number, which means they're overcoming obstacles to get to where they need to go. Uh, the seven, seven basically lends itself to the chariot card because it is the number of the journey. And also the chariot card is a Cancerian energy. So I feel like this person wants to take the journey the twin flame journey with you. Uh, so as you can see, this person is fixing things, mending things, um, stitching things together. So I do feel like this person is trying to work out a way to repair this because they've also got the eight of pentacles, just so you're aware. Um, I do apologize. The Eight of Pentacles is your card. I just want, my guys just pointed out to me that Eight of Pentacles is your card. Uh, they're thinking about Cancerian. They're thinking about the Queen of Cups, which is you. They're concerned about you. Um, and they feel like they've lost you because you've taken a real step back here. A real step back. Even though deep down you're holding on to their, their energy, their feelings, you still feel connected to them in some way. Um, they feel like I mean, the two of wands is weight to hold, to not, you know, you're feeling restless and a yearning, uh, but you expect them to come to you. Uh, you know, I feel like you've taken a real step back. You're not taking any action and they're wondering where you've gone. People don't realize that when you take your attention as a chaser, when you take your attention off your twin, the runner starts to wonder where their twin has gone and they come seeking. So they become the chaser, you become the runner. It has to flip like that. So both of you sort of walk in each other's shoes before you come together in balance and harmony. The one thing that a twin flame connection does is amplify fear. Fear of losing something so important, so dear. So in order to control the fears, you control the outcome by saying, I'm not going to engage in that. And that's what I feel like your person's done. They've gone, I have the power to be hurt badly in this connection if I lose cancer, uh, my Cancerian. But I'll remain in control of my emotions and I won't get hurt if I make the decision to leave the union first. So that is what a twin flame is. It's like denying their feelings, almost like deceiving themselves lying to themselves you know what i got no feelings it's fine I, you know there's no love here i'm not looking for love i was just looking for passion looking for you know casual connection all good here boom got feelings when this person has got breathing space away from you they start to realize the feelings okay um and this person with the, the lover's card they know that they've met their twin the lovers this person is uh deeply in love with you and i feel like whenever you're together this person feels like there's a mystical presence uh they may have even mentioned to you that you've got like uh, witchy type powers, uh, that you've got a hold on them, you've got a spell on them sort of energy. It makes me think of that song, you put a spell on me because you're mine, okay? Now that has not come from the scrying, just so you're aware, that's me um, thinking of something. I'll always tell you when it's uh, spirit giving me the songs or anything like that, and when it's not. So that one was for me, just thinking about that, okay? The depth of emotion that they feel for you is like no other. Uh, this person knows that you are absolutely their twin and there is union here that is very sensual, uh, very loving, kind, romantic. This person sees you as an alliance, someone who's on their side, on their team, someone who's given them a lot of nurture, care and support. I'm going to find out what the blockage was because I feel like they just focus a lot on their their career. Um, I feel like they're awakened to that. They realize that they chose the wrong things to focus on, but I'm going to see what the fear or the blockage is in this union. High Priestess indicates this person's starting to listen to their intuition, okay? This person is gaining knowledge. They're starting to have a lot of downloads. They're trying, they're, it's almost like they're sifting out any distractions and they're starting to rely on their subconscious mind and they're having faith. Uh, they're having visions of the future of you two together working this out. Now, for some of you, the four-leaf clover is important. They're showing it to me as a symbol, a signifier that you will see in the next couple of weeks. Either it is like a symbol of 
um, your person's origin or it can mean you see the symbol out and about maybe graffiti on the wall or on a product or if this person reaches out to message which we'll check in a moment uh, I mean they're taking the initiative with the king of yeah uh, no they've not got the king of wands they've got the devil card and the five of pentacles they're obsessing about losing you um, the king of wands is like passion initiative but you're hanging back with the hangman so right now i see the outcome in the next four to five weeks as sort of like being stalemate energy so i gotta be honest i'll see a little bit after that and pull some cards and see if there's any kind of like movement messaging i do feel like this person will message you but i feel like there's like a bit of a stalemate energy right now so um let's just pull a card and see what the blockage is in this twin flame connection Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know about the blockage in this connection? What is the fear? Ace of Pentacles. They withdrew. They, originally, they were all in. Okay? Uh, they want to make amends. This person knows that they ran away. They avoided their feelings. Okay? We got the Seven of Swords, which in the upright, that's the, the runner. That's the typical card of the runner. They don't want to run anymore. But they realize that they did not invest in this from the very beginning and that you deserve better. So uh, I feel like this person has some regret there. Uh, when you get the Seven of Swords in the reverse position, it tends to mean this person wants to make amends for not investing in the in the connection fully. Thank you so much, for guys. Um, when you get an Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, uh, this can be about like uh, stressing out, you know, making a poor judgment, holding back. Four of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, get ready to talk. When it's in the reverse, this person is getting ready to act, okay? They're feeling anxious about the way that things got left, how they disconnected from the union, how they did not give you what you truly deserved in the union. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Eagles. Ten of Pentacles. They're going from, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty intense. They're going from Ace of Pentacles in reverse, where they withdrew their investment in the relationship. Um, they realized that you probably will not trust them because they took a real step back. I mean, they may not, the Seven of Swords is a card of, um, can be a card of dishonesty or avoiding one's feelings, avoiding, you know, even being, you know, betraying your own self by pretending that I got no feelings, it's fine. Like, it's a card of avoidance. So I feel like this person, they were avoiding for a very long time and now they're taking accountability. And they've got, you've, this person's gone from, Ace of Pentacles in reverse to a full on 10. So this person wants to invest it fully in the connection. Now, the 10 of Pentacles can connect to family responsibilities. So either this person had responsibilities and they felt like they could not give their all to your connection straight away. So they withdrew in order to think about things. Or it can be that this person um, focused on finances, on money, and... Um, now they're thinking about their legacy. What do they leave behind? So I feel like this person wants to, they want to settle down. They want something more secure. I feel like this person wants to show you that they can be, that they are loyal, okay? Because they're highlighting the dogs here. Uh, now they, they are giving me a song right now. One moment, please. Okay. Uh, it's quite a slow, measured song. Uh, it's a masculine energy singing right now. Um, I've not heard this song before, so bear with me. I'm just going to try and grasp the lyrics when it comes back. So it's kind of like an ooh. Uh, that goes, half of my heart's got a grip on the situation. Half of my heart takes time. Oh, that's quite deep. I'm loving those lyrics. I'm going to find out who sings that, okay? Uh, I can't tell you who sings that, unfortunately. I'm going to have to look that up. I've not heard that one before. Um, but I'm actually, they're showing me, um, it's a masculine energy. It's a very close up. They're showing me of someone playing guitar. But it's interesting. I'm only seeing from like the shoulders down. It's focusing on the guitar. So I feel like it's like, don't focus on who's singing it. It's about the music. It's about the lyrics. So I feel that's what they're trying to show me. Uh, I mean, not unless you play guitar or your person does, or you know what this song is and you had a conversation about the guitar or whatever. So please take it as it resonates. It can mean that this person will reach out when you hear this song. 
So listen out for the song. You'll hear it in the next four to five weeks. You could have even heard it just before you come to this reading. It's a signifier from spirit to connect you to the reading. OK, so. I mean, if I if I really focus on the lyrics, it's like, um, oh, gosh, I can't remember what they just said because <laughs> they start playing. As soon as I mention it, it kind of stops playing in the water. It just goes away. Uh, it was like um, half of my heart understands the situation or something. And then the other half will need time. I think it was something like that. So I feel this person always knew that you were their twin, but they needed time. Uh, let's see, time for what? Time for what? Time to focus on what? They felt stuck. The death card in the reverse. Nine of swords. They felt stuck and anxious. Now that could be in their career. Uh, the death card, when it's in the reverse, is a card of resistance. Okay? Uh, feeling either obsessed or immobile. Um, Nine of Swords is anxious. They Now the Death card is a card of change. So this person was worried. They didn't want to change. They didn't want to change their circumstances. They didn't want to work on the personal growth. Yeah, they rejected it. Uh, Ace of Swords, sorry, Ace of Wands in reverse is a card of rejection. False start. Brutal ending. Okay? They... It wasn't just about passion. They just want you to know that. It was not just about passion. There is genuine love here. This person loves you, but they were afraid to change. They were they were afraid that things were changing. And, you know, it, they felt out of their comfort zone. So I'm going to see if there was a previous experience that this person... Is it a previous experience? Can you show me what the, why this person felt so much fear? Because Nine of Swords is fear. Now, either they felt like they weren't mature enough or their primary focus was to do their career. The emperor is always about career, uh, but this person knew they were a divine counterpart. They had to step into the light. Awakening, it was the fear. Awakening, becoming more mature. So I feel like settling down was seen by this person as a mature energy that they were afraid of. They felt they had responsibilities or they've got responsibilities elsewhere now this person, um, they can be Aries energy, Leo energy. Ooh, okay, I'll go get that card. One moment, please. The camera also cut out when I went to get that card. So I'm not sure why that was, but here I am back with this card. So uh, it was a four of cups. So this person felt pretty unfulfilled. So I do apologize for the break there in the reading. Um, yeah, this person just didn't feel like they had it all together. They didn't feel like they were enough. So they focused on their career. Their primary focus was on success, um, trying to find their happiness, their happiness. And they felt happiness came with success, with fortune, with, uh, you know, it's almost like the emperor energy is to plan for the future. And I feel like this person didn't feel ready to plan for the future. But I feel now they're seeing things from a different angle. The, the four, it's almost like this, the four cups is like disenchantment. They were looking for an omen. They expected that they'd be successful or they'd be older when they settle down and get love. But love does not happen on our time. It is not logical. And this person is realizing with the, um, the high priestess energy that love is not logical. It is something, love tends to show up when we're busy avoiding it. Okay, so uh, I feel like this person was avoiding it and then they met you and they're like, snap they they knew it was you okay now i can't find any other reason other than this person was just not ready to fall in love they didn't feel like they were in a space to fall in love when they met you they were not intending to okay um now the outcome energy we've got 33 when you reduce it three plus three is six the number of the lovers card uh we've also got like, two keys there i know it looks like one but if you look really closely there's actually two keys there so i feel like this is about exchanging keys both of you i mean the key is about a revelation so i feel like this person is going to sort of give you a revelation they're going to tell you that they've grounded their emotions they feel more secure in 
who they are. They're overcoming those, those obstacles and they're emotionally wanting to settle down. They're anchoring themselves. And I feel like this person, number 35, when you reduce it, three plus five is eight, the number of the self. This person is learning to love themselves fully and they are in a space to settle down, to anchor, to be grounded. So I feel like this person is searching for home right now. Uh, they're trying to, um, they're looking for something more secure and their heart brings them back to you, my beautiful Cancerians, okay? Um, now, this is their energy, this is yours, because we flip the energy. Yours was first, and then theirs is first in the outcome. They've got despair. So I feel like this person is sort of realizing that they've lost you, or that in your silence, in your withdrawal, your step back, because you think it's over here. You're looking for something more secure. Uh, I feel like they realize they've made a mistake, okay? As you can see, they're shut out there. It says not hiring. So they may feel like you're not interested in them anymore. And it's number uh, 32. When you reduce it, three plus two is five, which is the, the number of the Hierophant, which is all about learning a painful lesson. And that's what Twin Flames are all about. Unfortunately, it's about learning lessons in order to spiritually evolve. So, I mean, the dog is sitting by this, sleeping by this person. So I feel like this person, they want to be loyal. They want to come towards you, but it looks like it's too late. They may have left you waiting for a very long time. You, however, sudden wealth, 11, path number 11. That means you're on your soul path. You're in the right space at the right time to do the right things in this twin flame connection. You're focusing on your own needs. I mean, sudden wealth can mean you're coming into money or you're focusing on money, but I feel like you're, you've really hit the jackpot because you got the sun card. You realize that happiness comes from within you. It is not an, exter an external source. So I feel like, you know, of course, getting extra money is wonderful. You know, we need to pay bills and money is important to live, of course, but I feel like it's more than that. You've hit the jackpot because you know that deep down, love comes from within. But also, this person is now feeling how you were feeling. So the polarities have shifted. And it's not a game, it's an energetic swap. Twin flames are mirrored behavior. They swap polarities, okay, like the magnets. So I feel like this person is walking in your shoes. Um, they're thinking because their their card is clarified with the Queen of Cups. So, and this is the Cancerian card. They're thinking about you, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. But this person is thinking about the love that you offer them, the sensitivity, the connectedness. Uh, they see you as wife or husband material. What you know, male or female? As I said, not a gender specific reading. But not just that. There was a lot of empathy. You were a true friend to this person as well. You gave unconditional love and understanding to this person and they can see what they've lost in not having you this person it's almost like they fall in love with you even more and even more like you know what the, what's that um, cliched saying uh, absence makes the heart, heart grow fonder now you could counteract that with out of sight out of mind because i feel like someone just said that if that was you i picked up on that energy that was wonderful um but it's not with this person this person you are on their mind constantly they found peace and solace in your arms. And I feel like this person is going to return to do the same, to find that solace again. Eight of Pentacles is yours. So I feel Eight of Pentacles, number eight, as I said, is the number of the self. You're working on yourself at this time. So I feel like you have an understanding, a greater understanding of who you are, what you want, what you expect. You've got higher boundaries, stronger self-esteem, and you're making better decisions in this twin flame connection. So some of you may be open to mending this because as you can see, we've got another person here sewing or mending. So I do feel like if this person comes to you right and shows you love, because this person wants to love, offer you their loyal heart now, um, and it's not about it's they're coming towards you, so therefore you should accept what they're offering. It's not that at all. It's about the energetic exchanges between the two of you. Remember, it's like a dance. They come forward, you go backwards. They, you go forward, they go backwards. Eventually, as you start to spiritually grow, that step back is even less, 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 and it comes into balance until you stand there face to face, looking at each other and say, we wanna to be together. Why are we not just going for this? This is us. So let's not let any of the you know what get in the way and just let's be together. So the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like this is a card of repair, okay? Um, also with the Eight of Pentacles, 
I do feel though that you feel you're in a cycle of habit with this person. It's a repetitive cycle and you're just committing yourself to yourself right now. Um, I do feel like you came with a lot of commitment, a lot of dedication to this connection, but I feel like you're fed up of the repetitive cycle um, that you're in with this person. So um, I feel like you're still holding back. We got the Devil card and the Five of Pentacles. This person is aware that their insecurities, their fear, because the Devil card represents a lot of things. It can be fear, it can be insecurity, it can be trust issues, it can be addiction, it can be um, obsessiveness, control. This person controlled how they felt and the Five of Pentacles means they lost out. I do feel like Five of Pentacles is a card of abandonment issues. Okay, so this person allowed their abandonment issues from the past get in the way of their present. Uh, they allowed it to influence the way that they operate in relationships. When people are afraid because they've been left before, they're afraid that they're going to be left again. So they take back the power and they decide they're the ones doing the leaving. This is not about blame. It's not about letting this person off the hook. But humans are very complex creatures. So as soon as you've got an abandonment issue, whether it was uh, an absent parent, or an absent guardian, or, you know, they felt somehow left out. It could be even like they've been in a relationship before you and it did not go the way that you ho they'd hoped and they got abandoned in that connection. They built a fortress around their heart and promised it will never happen again. But then they met their twin and it is very, very hard to let someone in when you've been hurt before. So I'm just gonna pull a card on their energy. I feel like they are aware they're doing the mending that is necessary. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. No support. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Two of Wands in the reverse. They're not waiting anymore. Can you please dive further? Two more cards. Thank you. Oh. Well, two more shuffles, I guess. Um, so that's three cards in total. We have High Priestess. They're listening to their intuition. The Star in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. They were confused before. There may have even been, uh, you know, despair, depression, negativity around connecting to a love relationship. But the Two of Pentacles in the reverse is like they're not confused anymore. They know what they want. Okay, they're not they're not overloaded. They don't feel like they have to compromise. They're not struggling with commitment. They know what they want, and they want you. Okay, so the Two of Wands in the reverse suggests they're not waiting anymore. And the Three of Pentacles, there's nobody else. It's just you. Okay? Um, but they're, they're feeling a little bit like they're experiencing a taste of their own medicine. That's what I feel. Uh, by you stepping back and, and being in silence. Uh, we got the Hangman, so you're waiting. Uh, but you're also releasing old ways or old patterns because I feel like you're very conscious of being in a cycle with this person and I feel like you are you are willing to sacrifice to this union and I feel like you would be willing to sacrifice to this union again but only if this person takes the initiative okay um, you have a lot of passion with this person um, and I feel there's a lot of power and connection between you both but I feel like you're holding back because you want this person to come towards you to show you um, thank you so much for it, guys, going angels. I feel like you've taken the initiative too many times in this connection, and that's why you're taking a step back. Can you show me a little bit more about my beautiful Cancerians? Knight of Wands. You're becoming the runner. Okay? So there's a lot of passion, um, but I feel like you're being really headstrong in this, and maybe even determined for a new adventure with somebody else. Um, so you may be contemplating going for you know moving on to someone who's a bit more stable or looking for commitment than what you've experienced with this person but at the same time this person is spiritually evolving and becoming that person okay the lovers in the reverse separation okay so it's interesting they got the lovers in the upright you got the lovers in reverse um so I feel like right now you're uncertain as to whether you want to connect to this. You may even be questioning whether this person is your twin flame or a false flame or even if you believe in twin flames anymore. But the lover's card, I mean, part of you as well doesn't doesn't trust this person. You think that they're a player. Um, there's been a lot of bad choices made in this twin flame connection. And I feel there's been a lot of discord arguments um, and the separation period. Um, in the freedom, I feel like you found yourself. 
It's given you time to think about what you want, what you don't want, build healthy boundaries. Um, but right now, I'm not sure you would take them back so quick. I feel like you would hold off and let them come to you and prove to you that they mean it. Um, not as a game, but as a protective measure for your heart because you're in four of pentacles mode. Okay, so you're looking for stability long term and they did not offer that. So how can you trust them when they come back to you claiming that they want to be loyal and, and stay by your side when they've already got form not doing that very thing? So I'm just going to go and get um, a final card before I close. Uh, also, before I go, I'm actually going to... yeah. I'm actually going to go and uh, pick a card and see if they're going to reach out to you because right now I feel there's a stalemate energy in the next four to five weeks. Is this twin going to reach out? How would you like to receive? Queen of Wands in the reverse. Uh, that would be a no. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. I feel like they're worried that there'll be a cold reception right now. So let me just uh, go further. Okay. Um, now, either they've already reached out to you and you've ignored their message. Um, and they're pretty heartbroken over it. Or um, now I did not pick up a third party situation in this. Okay, so it can mean that this person is going through a difficult time. There, there's a lot of anger and a lot of baggage to sift through. Could also be that they had a previous relationship before you, maybe with someone who's a Leo. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it can be. Um, someone that they're angry with or they're, you know, and they're working through some things that they've been struggling with. And then they're going to come on in. Uh, I don't feel like there's anybody else that they want to be with. I cannot pick up that energy. I'll always be honest and say, yep, third party, uh, it's going to take a while or you may want to walk away from this. But with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands can be like they've become, because they've got a four cups as well, it can mean that they have apathy. Like they feel a bit numb right now. They know deep down that they've got a connection with you, but they just don't know... Um, how to overcome some of the obstacles. I mean, they are, they're working through it, but the three of the three of swords there is like difficulty. I mean, right now they may not be able to come towards you. I mean, because we have a, a, a king of wands there and a queen of wands. It's like, they're not quite there yet. They know they're for you. They know that they're a match for you, but they haven't quite reached the frequency that they're meant to be in to come towards you. Um, so the Three of Swords, I feel like that indicates a little bit longer. I would say even about three weeks after. So let's see, four to five weeks. I'd say um, I'd say it's more about eight weeks you'll hear from this person because the Ace of Pentacles then comes in, which is like an offer, you know, uh, an offer to talk. This person will reach out with something solid to say as well, something which t lets you know that they're serious. Um, if they could let me know what it is they talk about, or, oh my gosh, that song is playing again. So maybe they're going to talk about how their heart needed time. They knew, they know that you're their twin, but they needed time. I mean, of course, I always say, don't wait for anyone. Time does not wait for anyone. When you focus on your own personal growth, that is when your twin comes towards you in more healthy energy. So anyway, I'll move on. It says polar bear mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you're faced with adversity. Time to take a rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. You and this person, you are psychically connected. This card is for both of you, okay? This is also to listen to your intuition. Both fiercely independent creatures, polar bears, tend to operate and survive during difficult circumstances. So I feel both of you will find your way back towards each other. And as you can see, we've got like, it's almost like um, a dream catcher, but it's um, it's a cycle, a wheel. So I feel like you and this person will, you are in a cycle, but I feel like you will come and mature. You will come back together in another cycle. It's not over yet. Now, they're actually showing me a stone with a very interesting marking on it in the water a stone it could be i mean i mean it looks like it's this color okay uh stone so it doesn't have to be this shape but the way that they're showing it to me is like it's revolving around uh but it's got an interesting marking it's almost like a swirl 
in it. So either that's relevant, either you just found a stone like that or you just bought a stone like that or your person gave you a stone. It could be a natural marking. It doesn't have to be something that's manufactured. Um, or you will see like an ornament or stone that has a big swirl in it. Um, you know one of those swirls, it just goes round. It's almost like an, an, it's almost like an apostrophe, but it swirls, okay? So I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, they just show me that in the water, not unless you're holding one of those. It's relevant in some way to somebody out there, so please take it as it resonates. It may not resonate for everyone right now, but it may do in the next four to five weeks, okay? So look out for that. I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Okay, so I feel like you have a choice here because uh, we got the death symbol, which means uh, things are changing, but it can also be an ending if you want it to be, okay? Um, especially since we've got this energy of you holding back, you're not actually coming towards this person, you're, you're taking a, a, a separate, you're taking a separate route or you're just taking a step back and just watching this unfold. So it can mean that things are changing, they're moving forward with that horse, but it can also mean, uh, and we all have free will, my beautiful Cancer, so it's your call. It can also mean that you feel like this is the end, so you're moving forward. But I actually feel this is more that things are changing for the better in order to move forward. So if it's at a stalemate energy, I feel like there will be change. Because the death symbol represents change, transition, renewal of energy, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, an evolution, a spiritual rite of passage, progress being made. And the horse indicates the chariot card, which is about movement forward, overcoming the obstacles, and reaching the desired destination, the goal, the finish line, as it were. So uh, they actually want me to put this on the key and the anchor. So which one's which? Okay, uh, the horse is on the key and the death card symbol is on the anchor. So this person is changing the way that they operate emotionally and they are anchoring their feelings and you and this person can exchange the keys of your heart. There will be a revelation that moves both of you forward. So I feel like this person is going to tell you how they feel, how they were scared to lose you, how they have so much love for you. It's almost like they were so scared to lose you that it became obsessive energy to the point where they just let their fears win and they ran away. Okay, I feel like that's definitely a revelation that they're going to tell you. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. Um, if you'd like to be with a chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is write five things down on a piece of paper that you feel have been blocking your life or your abundance and find a creative way to release it to the universe. In the comments box below, just uh, put this sentence, I've let it go, now I'm in the flow, and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of June, and I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only. Also, if something resonated here, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. And they're just giving me something before I go. One moment, please. Oh, wow. They're showing me someone doing a, do it, writing. The way that it's writing is either, I mean, maybe you just went and saw someone do some automatic writing or um, because beautiful handwriting, who this is, but it's continuous writing. So, um, Either you've written something or you're writing something to this person as you listen to this reading. Maybe they are and they're, well, I feel like they're still holding back, but watch out for when you've watched this reading and when your person reaches out and just say, uh, or, or, this person may say, you know, I wrote this message a couple of weeks ago because it could be their energy that I'm picking up, that they're writing something right now. But it could also be someone attempting automatic writing or someone's just writing right now. Whoever that is, like physically writing with a pen or a pencil. Uh, you got beautiful handwriting, gotta say that, okay? So I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Love and light.